and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. It's me, Angel, and I have a very special guest, my favorite person in the whole wide world, my mommy. Hi. <laughs> All right, so it is another edition of Scandalicious Sunday, and my mother is a gladiator, too. She's an avid scandal watcher. We both started watching earlier this year, I think sometime in July. So she's all caught up. She watched the latest episode. So let's break down some of the stuff, and then we'll discuss some hot topics in this episode. So what happened in episode eight was, one, we see Olivia's mom chew away at her wrist. Ah! <laughs> uh, we also see Cyrus and Melly um, kind of uh, deviously persuade James, Cyrus's husband, to interview the vice president's husband, all in a plot to try to expose that the vice president um, is into men as well. And then we see the president built Olivia and House, which... Uh, kind of looks like his dad's house that he that he was in in the previous episode, but he built live a house in Vermont, and we see them hook up yet again. We also see um, Lisa Kudrow's character, the senator. We see her sister daughter or whatever she is to her has set up a fake robbery to try to um, frame the other um, candidate, and so Lisa Kudrow's character has to drop out of the presidency, uh, the run for presidency, or the Democratic. Uh, Mm -hmm. representative and then we see Olivia mom Olivia's mom <laughs> escapes from her imprisonment and yes. finds Olivia <gasps> and then the last beat of the episode we see that Huck figures out that Quinn killed the security guard yes. and he is sitting in her living room with torture material <laughs> asking her about her employer which we all know is B613 all right so mama let's start off with the mother Olivia's mom. What is, what do you think is going on? What what do you think about her getting out? What what do you think? Well, I think that um she must be a double agent of something mm -hmm. because I'm thinking that surely um she could not be totally a terrorist. I just don't think she's a terrorist in the sense of terrorist. I think she's got to be a double agent uh -huh. that was on that plane that they took her off because they knew the plane had a dirty bum on it. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that's what, that's what I, that's my thought, but I've heard other people say they think that she's really just totally mm -hmm. crooked. Yes. Okay, so what do you think her purpose is of seeing Olivia again? Just to see, do you think she just wants to see her baby or what? I think the way it's all seemed to be fitting together is that the she wanted to see her daughter. She just wanted, she missed her daughter. I think that she made a decision that she would not be in her daughter's life, but now that things have come to where they are, she's now saying in her heart, I really want to see my daughter. And when she looked at the pictures, I liked the way her, the way she was when she was, how pretty her daughter was and mm -hmm. how she was so, there is something missing right there uh -huh. that will help define why she had to see Olivia. You know, I thought it was strange that her ex-husband would even tell her that Olivia was asking about her. Like, I, I don't even know why he would even bring that to her. Like, that, it's almost like you awoke a sleeping a dragon. Like, if you would have mentioned that Olivia was asking, I don't think uh -huh. she would have said, I need to see my daughter. I think he could have just transported her and been like, we've got to move you. It's not safe for you to be here anymore. Whatever the reasoning may be. But I feel like he awoke a sleeping giant yeah. and he should not have ever said anything. I still can't believe. And so I, you realize that she must be some sort of person that's dealt with torture before to be yes. able to deal with chewing away her wrist oh and God. not passing out. Oh my out. God. Oh my God. I tell you, that was just, I, I closed my eyes and peeked until it was over with. I know. I couldn't. I, couldn't I mean, mommy, it. I love you and I love my son. But if they said I could not see y'all, I'm not chewing away at my wrist to get oh to you. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, that, that was, that was, that was gory and, and, and it very, was crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, James, um, Cyrus's husband, he figures out that Cyrus has been playing him this oh entire God. time, oh and he God. goes ahead, and it looks like he's had sex with the yes. vice president's husband because of the pictures, which I'm trying to figure out who took pictures. How were the pictures taken? What well, you remember? That's what Cyrus had told Millie. Say, Millie, I've done my job. You just need to get the senator's husband to uh, invite him over. I have someone in a tree with a with uh, a special kind of camera that will be able to take clear pictures from what's going on in the inside. And remember, he told Millie, says, Millie, because what's going to happen, the senator is going to kiss James, and James is going to smack him, and we're going to get that on tape, and then we're going to be able to calm little Sally down. Mm. And you remember the statement of the century when Millie says, 
you sure you want to do yeah. this? Yeah, he was like, no, that's yeah. my husband yeah. is not, not your, your husband. husband. Oh, my God. And that, yes. just, that knifed me when he told her that because, you know, she was just going through right. believing once again that her husband and Lil was back together again. She right. had already, because she, she was deal really with very that. painful right. with that. Right. So right. that was right. another, like, an upper cup. And, I, you know, and the thing is, is, I don't understand why he wouldn't have said to James, look, this is what we're trying to do. But instead, he just uses James like a little pawn in all of his plans. Cyrus don't have no boundaries. He doesn't. Cyrus don't. I think Cyrus would cut off his own foot. Or maybe oh, he would shoot. Him. He yeah. would shoot through his he, wrist. Yes, he would. He definitely would. Cause he, but he makes the show. I love him. I think. Oh my God. He does. He does. I just don't know what he's gonna do next. Yeah, he's but, he is something type. Some I I don't even know where that little black baby <laughs> daughter is anymore. He probably sold her off to get something. I mean, he really would do anything to anyone where to is get the what baby? he needs. Exactly. He'd have probably sold her off to get something <laughs> that he needed. Okay, so. Quinn and Huck at the end. Oh my God. O M G as they would say. Huh? I I thought he had found out, but you know, Huck has yeah. this no expression, but I like Huck also. I like the part I love that, him. that he plays. Yeah. But I think that Quinn, I she just is overhead. Yeah. She's oh, but she doesn't understand. It's like someone who gets exposed to something that they like mm -hmm. and they don't know their limits. She doesn't understand that he tried his best to warn her. Yeah. And I think that's why he's always pushed her away because yeah. he saw her grab hold of something that's going to corrupt her for the yeah. rest of her life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and but I think when I looked in and saw that stuff on the side, I started talking right away. I said, <laughs> I, I worked for so and so, I did this, I did that, and I'd have told him everything, my did, out of gate blood samples, his whatever. Text messages yes. from me and Charlie. We I used would. to shoot at the shoot range a long yes, time ago yes. here is my shooting record yeah 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 yeah, yeah. she I, and i know she's gone because she's never been tortured she's never dealt with that side of it she's never had to deal with that type of pain i think that she kind of wants to go through the torture especially the way it ended with the tape of her mouth i mean she knows what he'll do or either she's trying to take him to the limit and say he won't do it to her because I was surprised that she didn't just become Chatty Cathy. I, told, I promise you, I'd have been a canary bird. I'd have told on everybody, made up some stuff to make it good. Yeah. I mean, like, and, and something else yeah, happened, yes. never mm -hmm. even happened. Okay, so of course, the big part. Liv goes ahead and meets with the president and he's yes. built her this house or whatever and that just and he's like you can't make jam I don't know why we keep talking about jam I'm like who cares about making jam he's like our kids are going to be here it's to me it's so disgusting to hear him say this stuff when he's still married I'm like you have a woman at your house that you live in that still claims and to be your wife. And making babies by that woman too. You yes, know? yes. Mm -hmm. Having sex with... Mm -hmm. She did not rape you. You have been... You've had sex with her, made a baby with her, and you are talking about living with another woman. It blows my mind. I think that the whole show has captivated us because it is part of some real truth the way life is mm -hmm. for some people. But where the rubber meets the road at, it's, it's such friction there to see this type of seemingly love connection that's going nowhere right it's like it's going especially nowhere. when you have the power to make it go somewhere right so it's like a fairy tale that never has that good ending or the ending keeps stopping and starting and we don't know where to go with mm -hmm. it and so it keeps us on the edge of our seat but no i i the house thing that was a good move on his part i mean oh, yeah i mean he, i definitely would have gave oh, it up for he, less square yeah, footage than that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a condo yeah, yeah. and i have been like oh yeah oh my god but again you know your last um airing that you did i the statement that you made was about thinking someone killed your mom and you can be so easily bought uh, that 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 has to be fixed. Yeah, so yeah, that, 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 yeah. That that shows something kind of strange about Liv for her to forget that this this your mother that you missed at, from the age twelve and above. You missed her. You yearned for her, and you find out that the man that you've been that's not married to you uh, killed your mom. And your you, a house can make that feeling a, a, yeah, right. Yeah, I, I I do have a problem with that mm -hmm. part. I'm like now. I can understand a hold me and we'll talk. But until I get to the bottom of this. Hold me and then we will talk. But, but we're going to get to the bottom of right. why you did what exactly. you did. And the don't, I don't told him, don't sell the house yet. I yeah. do like that part. Don't sell the house just yet. Yeah, right. But it would not have been after yeah. I slept with you. It yeah. would have been yeah. good to meet you, but shake his hand, give him a kiss, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I think I would have still been trying to figure out, you know, what? who is this? Right, right. You Who shot down a plane with all these people in it mm -hmm. because somebody told you what they tell you to kill me. Right, exactly. 
and he's like, I'm legally now. I, I can't, legally can't tell you. You legal, you illegally killed a, a Supreme Court justice in a hospital, and now we got to. You can't tell me because you legally can't tell. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, he, he, does. he has a spirit of murder. He has a spirit, a spirit of, of murder. murder. A spirit of murder. On him. And I love that. Well, in with this, I love when Jake said to her, <laughs> "I told you he'd yeah. get a, a get a hold of you." Yeah, Jake. I said, I, I love me some yes. Jake. Call yes. her out. Yes. Oh my goodness. I am so glad I was able to talk about scandal with my mommy, Thank especially you. since the mommy showed up in this episode. So I cannot wait until December 5th. I am just like, uh, Anna, uh, uh Ava, the director of this episode, did an amazing job. Oz, yes, obviously, yes. Shonda, Shonda, her brain oh is just God. on some other planet. I don't even understand. I mean, oh, she's great. So make sure you all check out the mom's view this week. Uh, we're doing some more holiday stuff. I will be uploading more things. I promise. I will get my life together. <laughs> it's the last couple of weeks of school, so the homework has gotten really heavy. So that's the reason why I've been bailing with bailing on you guys with these episodes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I want you to comment below. What could a man do or a woman well, that would get you to forget something that they did that you would figure to be unforgivable? What 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 price could you be bought for? All of us always would say that we can't be bought for a price, but what would make you reconsider? Would it be a house in Vermont, a mansion? <laughs> what would it be? All right, leave that comment below. Make sure you share, make sure you like, and make sure you subscribe. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you before then. <laughs>